Hi there friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we are going to be playing three upcoming cozy games with demos that you can play right now on Steam. So if you want to come chill, hang out, relax, grab your drink and sit back and relax and get cozy. First up, we're gonna be playing Kamairu, a frog refuge. I'm super excited for this one. I just love the art style. I love the whole watercolor thing going on. So yeah, let's get started. This is a prototype. What you'll see is not final. Okay, so just a PSA to everybody. I've been working so hard lately. It's a good thing my latest project finally ended and I can take a few weeks off. Maybe I should go back home, take a break. Actually, yes, uh, I love her hairstyle. I think I'm going to do that with mine. Put a little braid over here on the side. It's pretty cute. Okay. What is going on? I remember the wetlands. Short trees with dark bark. Dragonflies skipping along the water surface. I grew up here, close to this marsh with Axel, my best friend. Axel and I both loved frogs. It's funny, I was thinking about him this morning. He just called. Something tells me he has a plan. Axel always has a plan in mind. Ooh, what could it be? <gasps> Can we romance Axel? <laughs> okay, Axel hasn't changed at all. We met up a few miles from the wetlands of our childhood. He showed me a place where he planned to build, of all things, a frog refuge. Oh. That's cute. Cleo, long time no see. So happy to see you again. Axel, it's been a while. How are things around here? Great, but as you can see, the frog refuge is pretty empty so far. I'm thinking we could fill it with frog furniture. <gasps> frog furniture? Is that a thing? Of course. Frogs are attracted to certain types of furniture. Let's try it. You'll see. Oh, we're gonna be decorating our own frog refuge. It's so cute. Use the shop to buy some furniture. I gave you some money to buy a bathtub. Frogs love bath time. Okay, where can we do that? Buy a bathtub in the shop. Okay. Yes, let's buy a bathtub. All right, purchase confirmed. Where can we place it? Open your inventory to retrieve the furniture. Then you can place it anywhere you want in the refuge. Ooh, oh, I can just drag and drop it. It's like playing a sticker game where I can just place any, any item anywhere. Um, maybe here. I'll just put it right over here. Hit the editor button to enter or exit editor mode. This way you can move furniture around. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. I can easily... <gasps> You will see that you got some reputation points. From placing the bathtub, you get hearts by adding new furniture to the refuge. Or you can also tame new frogs to get hearts. Taming frogs? That sounds very exciting. It is pretty simple. You give them all the food they want. Most frogs love flies, but their tastes can get more complex. <gasps> Cutie patootie. Interact with frogs that show up in the furniture to open a panel with information on the frogs. Okay, yes. This little baby baboony is named Victulus Pink Banana. Or is that the type of frog? <laughs> is that what they are? Okay, we can feed them. Um, what are these? Mosquitoes, caterpillars, beetles, and dragonflies? New frog, Pink Banana. That's so cute. They love... Um, flies i guess <laughs> cutie you can also take pictures of frogs because they are cute obviously now open the camera take a frog picture and put it into your frogadex okay let's take a picture oh where did it go wait did it become a white banana cutie frogadex and journal Silver banana. It's a new frog, actually. Open the frogadex, frogadex to see all the frogs you have fed or photographed. The dashboard shows available frogs and the probability that they will spawn. Okay. 70% for Victulus and Doblex. There's also zebra, leopard, and a couple of unknown frogs that we still need to discover. 
Axel seems thrilled about his project. He he details his plan, more furniture to attract frogs, help the wetlands and its biodiversity thrive, and build a great refuge for the frogs. Okay, let's go. Oh, so Cleo, what do you think? You want to help me? Of course, this is such a cool project and you know how much I love frogs. All right, let's make this our first task. We need to increase our reputation and add new frogs to the frog index. So it means installing new furniture and we tame frogs by feeding them so we get hearts, correct? Right on, what about we get at least 40 hearts and three frogs into the frog index? Okay, let's continue building furniture and discovering new frogs. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. If you're looking for things to do, you can check out current objectives in your journal, okay? Get 40 reputation points and add three frogs to your frog index. All right, let's see, okay. So let's see what we can buy. This is pretty cute. Yes, let's place this one and maybe a chair as well. But that's so cute though. Um, editor, no, not their stuff. Yeah, we can place this one and put it right over here. Uh-huh. And then um, the chair as well. Let's place a chair right here facing the little pond so that the froggies can have a, a, an, an enjoyable, fun time in front of the pond. But now we just have to wait. And um, yeah, we got a new frog, a kiwi kiwi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let's take a picture of kiwi kiwi. Kiwi kiwi looks happy right there. Frogadex and journal. So every time we find a new frog, we have to take a picture of them. Axel, mission accomplished already. The refuge got more reputation points and I added a bunch of frogs to the Frogadex. Well, there was only one though. Unfortunately, I am running out of insects and money. Ah, no worries. Step two of the plan starts now. Let's visit the wetland so I can show you a couple of things we can do with the reputation we earned. The wetland is in bad shape. If we restore it, we could use its resources for the refuge. All right, but where do we go? Now let's get out into the wetlands. How does that sound? We could gather some resources and food for the frogs. Let's go travel. And here we are! The wetland is a beautiful na natural resource, but people just think it's a full of mosquitoes. You and I should think of it as a wonderful treasure trove. It's all dried up. Yes, don't worry, there's water underneath the dirt. We can dig ponds to restore the zone. In exchange, it will give us some resources. Let's have a look at the wetland shack. All right. Aww. It seems a bit run down. Enter the shack by pressing on it. This is where you get information on the wetlands restoration. Okay, what do we need? What do we need here? This is our little wetland shack. Here you'll find tons of info about the wetlands restoration status. Hmm, there's a board with info about the plants. What's a bio score? The bio score is the combined value of carbon capture and flora diversity. The higher it is, the better for the wetlands. Okay. Gotcha. So next step is making sure frogs are super happy, right? Okay, your wetland bio score depends on carbon capture and biodiversity. Ooh, in the shack, you can use your reputation to develop wetlands and restoration technology. We already know how to dig a pond, so how about we learn how to plant a simple berry bush? Okay, let's do that. Berry bush. Let's purchase one, exit, and hit editor good now let's start re-wetting these wetlands let's go for the moment let's dig a pond and grow a berry bush next to it okay where do we go let's build a pond buy a pond and a berry bush then place them in the wetlands put the bush near the pond so it can grow and produce berries okay cutie cutie so um Oh, okay, so at least I don't have to drag the pond. There's um, there's already a pre-made pond size. And then we're going to add the berry bush right here. Wait for the pond to attract insects and collect them. These are the insects we will use to feed the frogs. Okay. And now we got an insect. There's one. Okay, I think I've got it. We use our reputation to restore the wetlands and we use the wetlands resources to fund the refuge. Exactly. Now let's get started on the objective. Let's add another berry bush and some reeds. 
Okay, where do I buy? Place two reeds and two berry bushes in the wetlands. All right. Um, is this where I need to buy? Uh, yes. Two berry bushes. Although... Um, how many reeds was that? Let me go check. Journal for reeds. Place two reeds and two berry bushes. So I just need one more berry bush, I guess. So... Um, yeah, let's, let's buy, let's buy the, the reeds first. So two reeds, uh, purchase. We got one reed. Can edit. We already have one berry bush, so that's, that's pretty cool. We can place the other one right here. And then there's the reeds. I think I just need one more reed. Or is that reeds? <laughs> Yes, there you go. One more. Uh, how about here? Yes. Just to make it all look cute. Oh, I am loving this. It's adorable. There's even a butterfly. This is phenomenal. phenomenal. We're clearly chugging on the wetlands restoration. Great. I was thinking about putting berry bushes to work. Ah, that's a neat idea. We have an outside kitchen over there. We could prepare some tasty jam. Oh, where? Resources are produced automatically and appear on the right side of your screen. Interact with them to harvest. Oh, yeah, I have to move my my screen a bit because there's like a flower blocking my monitor right now. <laughs> if you've seen my setup, probably somewhere on Instagram or TikTok, then you know. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. We have some berries. We can now go to the kitchen and prepare some delicious jam. Let's do, let's make some jam and let's jam in. Craft wetland products in the kitchen. First, choose a recipe and the quantity of products you like. So let's do jam. And how many jam? Berry candy. We can also make berry candy. That's pretty cool. Berry jam. Six of them makes one, one jar of jam. So... What do? <laughs> oh, I just need to drop six of them? One. Oh. Uh, what? Six. Oh, oh yeah, right, because it was 11 already. <laughs> then it emo it automatically took six. Okay. Mm, what is this? Oh. Oh, interesting. Nice. That was something new. I've, I don't think I've ever tried that type of mechanic before in a game. Okay, now that we've had our, we have our berry jam, the jam and our other products will be used to fund the refuge. Let's go back there. Okay, let's travel. All right, now let's sell all the jam in the shop. We'll use the money to improve the frog refuge. Okay, click continue. Where is, um, yeah, here, sell. And we can sell it for 16 since we have two. Perfect. Now we have a little bit of money. We have to just keep repeating the process. And eventually we're going to be rich. And we're going to be the best frog refuge in town. Now you know how to restore the wetlands and complete objectives. If you need help, press this, the question mark button to learn more. Where is that? Click continue. Oh, it's all right here. Hey, Cleo, I think we just finished the tutorial section. You know what this, that this demo is only a tiny fraction of the whole game, right? Of course. I heard that in the final game, you'll get more of everything, more frogs, more furniture, more wetland resources. Exactly. More mini games, more characters to talk with, and even more biomes to explore. Wow, that sounds great. But can we go back to playing the demo now? Sure, we are kind of halfway through. Let's go. It doesn't even end there yet. Perfect. Now I told you everything I know about restoring the wetlands and running the refuge. It's probably a good idea now for you to meet someone very important to me. You're gonna love her. Aw, oh, Axel's taken. Aw. But Axel's taken by... Who? Axel introduces me to a woman in her 60s with a gentle but piercing gaze. Annabelle. We shake hands and she starts a conversation. She's a retired surgeon who now devotes her time to research on frogs and wetlands. Hello, my dear. What a pleasure to finally meet you. 
It won't surprise you to hear that some frog species from this area are endangered. If we stand any chance of protecting them, I need your help to sequence their genes for further studies. Ooh, if you need help, I am really motivated. To start, I would need you to tame two frogs. It should be easy for you. They love insects. Once you'll have tamed those two frogs, come and meet me at the lab to breed one frog. Okay, but how do we tame them? Okay, breed at least one frog. Right, tame two frogs and breed them at the lab. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. But how do we tame frogs? Um, do we just take continue taking pictures of them? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Let's take a picture. This one in Frogadex and Journal. We have the pink kiwi. That is so cute. So how do we tame? How do we tame the frogs? Or did I just miss that? Ooh. Yes, the frogs. Uh, frogs spawn in frog furniture. Frogs you have photographed, fed, or bred appear in the frogadex. The type of frog that spawn depend on your bioscore, which you can increase by restoring the wetlands. Feed your frogs all the insects they like in order to tame them. Ah, okay. Only tamed frogs can be bred in the breeder. Okay, let's f uh, let's feed them mosquitoes. Yes. We now have. Oh, we have another one. Um. New frog, peach kiwi. I love that. Did we already tame silver banana? I don't think so. Yes. But now we have a couple of frogs. How do we how do we, how do we tame them? Where is our tamed frogs? Your frog index currently doesn't contain any frog in this category. Ooh. So does that mean I have to max out um feeding them? Can we just try that? Let's see. I just need two. So I, I at least would need eight pieces or eight mosquitoes. And uh, yeah, we already have silver banana anyway. So let's continue feeding, feeding silver banana and see what happens. Oh, and that's how you tame a frog. How do we name our silver banana? What would be a cutie patootie? Okay, yeah. Let's cutie patootie. Cutie Patoot. Yeah, I like that. Let's go. <laughs> Cutie Patoot has been tamed. Now, we just need to find another frog. And, ooh, Cutie, who is this? Frogadex and Journal. We have a Dalblex Peach Aqua. I hope we have enough food, though. We only have two, but we also need to Caterpillar. So, why don't we go back to the wetland? And, oh! Cutie, what are you doing here? Peach Kiwi. Um, just one more. Give me one more mosquito, please. I would love to have one more pond, though, so that more mosquitoes would be coming in. So let's see if we can, if we have money to buy another one. It's worth 20, so I guess that's fine. Um, or maybe not. Maybe just later. Oh, we lost the we lost the other one. Oh, a pink silver. What a cutie patoot. Let's take a picture. Pink silver. Oh, cute. We don't have enough food though. Mm, I need more mosquitoes. So I guess I'm going to build another pond. <laughs> Not sure if this is going to be the right um the right choice. But it takes a while. Maybe it takes a while. We're just gonna have to wait. If, we're, if we go back to... Oh, we have another cutie patootie. Must take picture. There. Uh-huh. Victilis aqua peach. Wait, wasn't this the one that we fed earlier? Or not? Okay, we... Uh, yeah, we don't have any... Uh... Ah, okay, fine. Let's... Let's... Build... A pond. Let's build another pond and put it just place it right here maybe we can rotate it something like that or here yeah oh yeah okay hopefully we have um another uh another set of mosquitoes that's gonna come to the pond but anyway we can also make berry candy how about that or not sure no let's do berry jam 
and let's make one but i don't have enough i guess oh there you go yes sorry i forgot to that i have to manually click on the the oh <gasps> caterpillar wait 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 must take picture must take picture don't go away don't go away we have banana silver again a double x banana silver but i i don't know how do you find the previous frogs that we've already fed before because we just need one more mosquito but anyway yes let's uh let's make a berry jam five of them yeah there you go and then we can do this thing again which is pretty cool uh-huh oh oh i only made two oh i have an additional two okay let's go back to the shop and sell our jam yes and now we have 56 at least we have money and um is this the one that we fed earlier no we need more mosquito i don't know how we can speed that up let's try wetlands the frogs bioscore reputation technology mm, the breeder breeding tamed frogs allows you to obtain new frogs for your frogadex is this a new one a doublex banana kiwi did we already take a picture of this one Okay. Frogadex and journal. Yes, Doblex, Banana Kiwi. If we head over to our journal, um, we can see all the all the little cutie patooties that we've discovered so far. And if, if we go over on frogs, um, there's no way... I think we would have to actually wait for them to appear again. But yeah, let's go back to our wetland, our pond. We still are not generating any more flies, though. Mm. This is really cute. But yeah. Anyway, if you want to check out the demo for Kamairu a Frog Refuge, be sure to follow and wishlist the game on Steam. And um, the demo is free to play anyway. So if you want to try it yourself, go right now on Steam because you have to. It's pretty cute. And um, yeah, add it to my wish list. Wait, I need to take a picture of this little baboony. Yes, a zebra pink banana. Oh, cute. But they need special food though. So I'm going to save that for later. And you know what? yeah go try it just give it a go and we are gonna try another game now this is make room i don't know if you've seen my video on instagram and tiktok but this is one of those games that i just really wanna relax with it's perfect to play in bed hopefully this is going to be available on the steam deck so i can just be all lazy in bed with my tv on my series on just playing this game and the music is just so beautiful and there are cats there are cats yes so why don't we just start i'm gonna show you why i'm super excited for this game so basically, <laughs> the whole point of this game is you make a, you design tiny dior dioramas. How do you say that? Tiny dioramas. Design your own little space. And I believe what we can do with this room is um, make our bedroom. Yes, let's try building our, or yeah, making our first bedroom. I want to see where I can... Yes. Oh my gosh. This is one of the reasons why I'm super excited for this one. You can get into the little details, change the room color and everything. And um, yeah, it's very wholesome. Love the music as well. You can even tech change the texture. Nice. I love it. Oh my goodness. I could probably spend, I don't know, hours on this game. <laughs> What would be nice? What would be a nice color for the floor? Hmm. 
We already have a brown beige thing going on on, on the right. So why not we just do... Let's do white, probably. That I go do... Ooh, I like this one. Warm colors. And you can change... Oh yeah, let's keep this plain. But for this one, you can also change the texture of um, the tiles. This is the tiles of the bedroom. Uh, I wish they added wood in there. I think, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can unlock. But it's currently still grayed out for us, which is fine. We can um, make a very basic, simple room for now. We can even change the size as well. And uh, yeah, keep it small. Oh, I really like that. And there's two parts, white and brown. We can also do that. Keep it white and beige or what? Sorry, white and brown. We can also do yellow. Um, what would be a nice match for yellow? A yellow rug. I actually like that one. And for the bed, yeah, white and... Oh my goodness. I like... Oh, I like that one. Can we add windows as well? Yeah, we can add windows. We can add um, a door. How about... Yeah, I can only... Yes, I can only pick two for now. But that's fine. Or maybe here. Hmm. Maybe here, I guess. Let's try. Yeah, let's just... Let's just play around with everything. Uh, yellow door. Beige door. Shall I do a beige door? Mint green is nice, but I kind of want to just go with a more cleaner look with just white for now. White and a few key colors. And I need... There's even... Um, if you want to make your own bathroom, you can totally do that as well. These are boxes, I guess, if you want to make a room that's sort of, you know, moving in and... Um, in new stuff can also add shelves as well and oi oi i like it you can do that i'm i wonder if there there are plants let's see if there are plants um also just a psa to everybody i'm not really the best at decorating i'm just i just like placing random stuff i guess i don't know what i'm saying but um you can have a little table going on over here is there some sort of a desk and where are the pillows we can have a chair as well keep it there i wonder if there are yeah i'm looking for plants and even there's a cat oh we can put the cat in the bed a black cat. Yes. Let's put a black cat on the bed. I'm looking for pillows. Let me let me just find that. Oh, there's even a desk. Oh, there's a desk. There's a freaking desk. Oh my god. Is there a computer as well? Make it my own little gaming space. There's a window. And you know what? If we can change the size of the window. Really cool. Let's try that. Oi. Oh my goodness. Yes. I want that. And there's a bookshelf. You could even add a bookshelf. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the... Maybe I'll just get rid of the door. And add a little bookshelf right here. I want to add plants. Are there plants? Or... Yes. Oh, this is another. Oh, okay, so this is not really um, a desk, let's say. So let's go back. You can I even add a fireplace and kitchen stuff. Um, Let's see. What are these? Oh. And this one? What is this one? Oh, this is for the kitchen. Okay, let's add this one. 
And I wonder if we can change the color of the foot. Make it all wood. Oh yeah, we can. I love it. Now we need a chair. We need a chair for the desk. What are these? Oh, these are the pillows. These are, I found the pillows. But wait. Oh my god. This is so cute. Um, Can I have... Uh, yeah, I guess. Maybe that one for now? Can I change the color? Uh, yeah, make it, make it yellow or orange. And then two pillows as well. There you go. You can even change the size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the tiny little details. It's adorable. You know what? I think my suggestion would be to add a color wheel so that you can really go specific with the colors. Because I would want to add something green, but I am looking more for a more pastel kind of green, a soft green, either that or emerald green. Not this type of green, but that's fine. Um, yeah, maybe... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all for now, I don't know. <laughs> and there's even uh, some blankies. What else can we add? Yeah, pillows, plants. Some of the plants are um, still locked, but it's okay. <gasps> oh, and we can even add a desk lamp. I like that. And what? Are, yeah, these are boxes for somebody that just moved in. And then also there's yeah, a couple of books. And you, can I add the books um, inside here? Oh, that's also totally possible. <gasps> what else? I want more stuff. I want more items. Give me more. And now we have, yeah, for the <laughs> Nintendo Switch. This is perfect. This is super adorable. Okay, but what are these? Are these... Is this a mouse and a keyboard? You can have a desk mat? No freaking way. Can I also change the color? Of course I can. <gasps> okay, alright. Um, what is this? This is for your... This is your PC? <gasps> of course I'm gonna change it to white. Duh! A white PC with beige footing. Mm -hmm. And um, my monitor. Uh, this is too big anyway. So let me just... Yeah, I think this is this is good. My monitor and let me change it to white. Can I? Oh, I love it. Now show me the keyboard. I need a keyboard. I think this is the keyboard. Yes, that's the keyboard. And this is the mouse. I'm gonna make it to white and I'm gonna make this to something uh maybe pink. Yeah, pink would be cute. Oh <laughs> pink would be cute. Okay. And we have a switch here. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. I just need more plants. I want more plants in this room. And um what else? We need a chair. Uh where are the I need like cutie um i need a gaming chair or something uh let's see here i don't think i can unlock it yet so let me just oh here it is oh here it is i'm gonna try and make it look like my chair that's that looks a bit too minty but that's fine oh our room is so adorbs. Is there anything else? What else can we add? So there's the door, but I'm not gonna add that yet. No, not for now. So then now we have our, our little bedroom. Let's make it cozy, shall we? We can even change the ambiance. No. And of course we can also change the environment outside. I would go with this one and, um, wait. 
rain sounds bird sounds as well and snow oh this is way too cozy i love this i want to do it again i can even change the color yeah the color outside if i want to um yeah i just want to go with this one for now and uh let's take a picture i know it's not the best <laughs> focus it's not the best right now but we can work with this one and we can save it as well saving and loading is unfortunately not available in the demo version oh no code i don't have a code um so uh if you want to look up for codes i do suggest heading over to their twitter page and skimming through their tweets they probably have some codes on there but right now i don't have a code so I can't save right now. All right. That is, um, yeah, uh, too bad. <laughs> but anyway, okay. But that is make room, everybody. It's super, it's super calm, cozy, relaxing. And um, I just love that you can change and customize the sizes of the objects and the colors and even have your own ambience going on in the background if you want birds or rain it's really perfect for relaxation my request is for the devs if you're watching this right now please make this game available to play on steam deck as well because i would love to play this in bed thank you welcome to minami lane i made a video about this one as well but um, also one of the games that I'm super excited with and it's a cozy street management game. So quite curious. It's I think it's going to be releasing soon later this month. So again, if you want to try these demos out yourself, they're free to play right now on Steam. Go check them out, please. But um, yeah, let's let's just start. Let's let's try it. Welcome to Minami Lane. This street is so sad and empty. Let's see if you can make a vibrant neighborhood with me. Mission, have 15 villagers and 75% satisfaction. Build a boba shop. <gasps> we can build our own boba shop. Wait in 10 days or less. Okay, add a new building. Best place in the city to eat good noodles. Every town. Can we all just agree that every city, every small town needs their own little ramen shop? Yes. Or we can also go with a modern house plus five people, a park, pocket park, adds a lot of charm to any neighborhood, a boba shop, but we need 10 people for that. So I think first, um, yeah, we have five people. Let's go with the, with the ramen shop. And then the roof shape we can change as well. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Um, I want to go with this one and then change th the roof color. Oh, and the main color as well. Ah, I want to go with red, the standard red. And um, yeah, just probably yellow. I like that. Okay. Customize your ramen. Oh my gosh, we can make our own ramen. Okay, okay. So one for the noodle. Let's, uh, it's already in there. The pork, egg, two eggs. Selling price is seven. Profit is $3. How about one shrimp? I'm gonna, usually when I order ramen, I order an extra egg, an extra nori. I don't know why they didn't add it here. But um what should we name the the ramen shop i'm gonna probably name it as a popular i'm gonna name it as um there's a popular popular ramen shop here or a ramen um ramen chain here in the netherlands at least and it's called takumi so i'm gonna name it as that um takumi ramen yes I like that. The gumi ramen. So um, the selling price is at 11. Profit is still three. That's fine. Can we add more noodles? Extra noodles and extra chashu. Okay, I love it when a bowl is really full. Okay. 
An extra shrimp? Nah. Just one shrimp. Okay. Done. Start day. Yes. Come in, everybody. Have some ramen. Let's go. This music is giving grocery shop vibes. It's so cute. Oh, oh no. Yes, we have to get rid of that. I thought that they were going to trip or something. <laughs> All right, satisfaction is 46%. Um, villagers, five money. We got $49 today. We collected all the trash. We need to have at least 15 villagers. So next, our main focus is going to be building residential area. So Takumi Ramen, we only have a profit of $9. What is the satisfaction? <gasps> 46%? Shop recipes, they're eh, 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 the shop diversity, 50%. Okay, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna add a new building. I'm gonna add more people. Um, yes, we need that. And can we actually move it? No, there's no way for us to move it. Um, let's do a pink house. That's pretty cute. Oh, <gasps> cutie. Um, can I edit this one as well? So what is already existing, you can't edit it anymore. Um, they're not quite happy though. So what is going on? What should we add? Should we do more pork? Three pieces of pork and one more noodle. That's quite too much, but okay. Two pieces of shrimp. Yes, let's do that. The selling price is now at $20. Still, the profit is only for three. But let's see how it goes. Come in, everybody. Have some ramen. Let's score. Are you happy? Did you say you were happy? I just went to Takumi Ramen. I would like less pork. <gasps> um, Is there a tanuki somewhere? A th what? A tanuki? I'm going to Takumi Ramen. The street looks a bit bland. What else? I can't wait for different shops and restaurants to open around here. Okay, so less pork then. So should I just do one piece of pork? Because they weren't quite happy before. So, um... Let's try. Okay, Danuki trash collected still. That's good. Oh, you're at four? Why? Okay, maybe there was... Okay, I'm so sorry for adding more pork in there. That was a bit too much. Um, yeah, let's go back to one. You know what? Just one of everything. Let's see if it's good. Done. But I'm going to add a new building. Let's add a boba shop. Or we can have a park as well. Or we can have a boba shop. Hmm. Required is 60% satisfaction. Gives plus two beauty and more money. But we don't have enough money. So we're going to have to, at least for now, build a park. Add more beauty. Cute that you can change the trees and also their colors. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the whole street pink. Whether you like it or not. I love it. Sorry, Ramen. You're gonna be pink for now. As Where can I edit the building? Can I still edit the building? I don't think so. Shops. Yeah, Takumi Ramen. Edit name. Yeah, I can only edit the name, but I can't edit the how it looks like anymore. But that's fine. The rest of the street is going to be pink. So... Yeah, I have one on everything. Let's see how... Let's, let's see how it goes. Oh, there's a love letter. Oh, <gasps> that is cute. Okay, I can't wait for different shops and restaurants. Yes. What else? The street looks a bit bland. More egg. Okay, so let's add more egg. Takumi ramen feels adorable. I think it's great. Let's add more egg. Yeah, and the street is hip. All my friends hang out here. Hi, the street looks a bit bland. So we really need to add more stuff on the street. Because people are bored. And honestly, I think 
Well, at least for me, I wouldn't be bored if there was only a ramen shop nearby. I would eat there every day. Oh, they're quite happy. Takumi feels affordable. More egg. Okay, let's add more egg the next day. Their happiness is turning at 54% though. Satisfaction. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay. Let's add more egg. Just one more egg. So that it's still affordable. Yes, there you go. And what we can do is I still don't have any money. So <laughs> we're going to have to continue. We're going to have to start a new day. So we have two eggs in there. So let's see. I'm going to continue picking up trash as well. Less shrimp. They don't want any shrimp. Okay. Parks are overcrowded. More pork. More pork. Less shrimp. Okay. Remember that. Remember that. More pork. Less shrimp. Street is a bit bland, I see. Yeah. All right. So it's just less shrimp and more pork. Get rid of the shrimp. Totally get rid of it. No shrimp. Just make it two pieces of pork. The parks are overcrowded. I wish. Yeah. People are not liking the shrimp and my ramen. Fine. What else? Yeah. More pork. Okay. Yeah, I, I get the message. I get the message. Next day, we are going to be adding more pork. And um, let's get rid of the shrimp. Okay. Yes, no more shrimp, but one more piece of pork. And a selling price is $10. I think that's pretty reasonable. We cannot build. I want a boba shop. But yes, I want a boba shop before anything gets too crowded. So we just need one more day and we will have enough money for boba. Let's go. Hi, how are you doing? Takumi feels affordable. Hopefully y'all are happy now. Okay. Gimme. I can't wait for different shops and restaurants. Okay, affordable. Yes. Gotta pick up that banana peel. Um, park's overcrowded. You want another park, I guess? Tanuki. There's a tanu tanuki. I would like more egg again. You want three eggs in there? Okay, I just need one more for it to reach 200. We need 200 for a boba shop. More egg. Again, fine. Let's do one more egg. But now we have $200. So we can finally build our boba shop. All right, add a building. How much? Yes, a boba shop requires 60% satisfaction. 10 people, perfect. Let's do it. And then, um, as I said, I'm gonna make it pink. Or warm in color. Yes, warm. Uh, pink and yellow. Maybe pink and red. Yes. Uh, mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to diversify the roofs. So let's do uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Let's go, Boba. <laughs> We can also customize our boba shop. Um, what do I, what do I name this one? Boba, boba bay, bay's boba, bay's boba, bay's bobas, bay's boba. Let's do bay's boba. Um, I'm gonna keep it um as it is for now. Make it as a base, and then um wait for feedback. See how the people like it. And let's start. I love how our street is coming together. Adorbs. I want some winter melon boba, please. Less sugar. Okay, less sugar. They don't like it too sweet. I like it sweet. Um, less sugar and more cream. All right. Yes, less sugar. Yes, I'm listening. Yep. Um, it's so cozy though, after a day, a day, you know, hanging out, 
outside, just getting boba, eating ramen, perfect. What are they saying about ramen? More eggs, yes. So more egg, less sugar, and more cream. We're earning so much money. Give me all the money. <laughs> the street looks a bit bland still. Did I clean up everything? Okay. Yes, less sugar, more cream. Base boba feels affordable. I think it's great. I think I'm gonna add one more part probably. Okay, let's do this as the last day. So they wanted more egg. Yes, three eggs and here less sugar and more cream. Yes, there you go. And we can, can we add a new building or I think we're still poor. Okay, let's do two more days. Yeah, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, Boba. Okay, what are they saying? The perfect recipe, finally. Okay, I'm not touching the boba anymore. The biggest boba. Okay, Takumi Ramen has the perfect recipe for me. Nice. Street looks a bit bland. So our main focus for the next one, at least for the next day, we are gonna have another park. So it wouldn't look too bland for everybody. Yeah? Okay, okay. Mmm... Dun, 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 dun. Everybody's so happy. I'm living for this. Oh my god, so cute. I'm just gonna go get boba, head over to the park, and there goes about my day. It's 6 p.m. Everybody's going home. All right, they're happy. And the satisfaction is increasing, which is good. Needed to unlock more shops. I wonder how many shops are there. Um, 100% shop recipes, perfect. The beauty is, yeah, we're not doing so well when it comes to beauty. So, what we're gonna do is, let's add one more park. And, um, again with a pink, but <laughs> different, different, um, different type of trees. So, tree shapes. Okay, let's go. Okay, perfect. The streets look pretty. A little more decoration could be make it, could make it perfect. Can we add more decoration? Can we actually add more stuff on the street? Is it something that we can add? All right, pretty the streets. The street is now pretty. We just have to make sure that we get rid of all the trash. I guess everybody's happy. I mean, I'd be happy if I were living in this street. Yeah, Bay's Boba. Hi. Okay. There you go. I think there's there. Yeah, that's that's everything. I just want to change the color of this house, but I can't. I don't know if I can rearrange either, so that's fine. Hi. Oh, and then you can also fast forward time. Finish 10 days or less. Have at least 15 villagers. Okay, so far I am really enjoying this one. This is pretty cute and it's adorable. But, um, yes, that is, uh, Let's let's uh, go back to main menu. But yeah, that is it for. But yeah, that is it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's three cozy games. I'm gonna try and make it into a series. I honestly got inspired by Markiplier's three scary games and that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Just three small cozy games that I can make into an, a weekly series and just where everybody can just chill and hang out, put me in the background and at the same time discover new games. So again, thanks everyone for joining today's video. 
um, I'm quite new to YouTube, so it would really mean a lot if you would like and subscribe to my channel to help the algorithm. And as always, drink your water, take your vitamins, and eat your breakfast. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!